In this video I want to show you on how to create a mobile menu with the current version of BricksForge. We have a very simple structure for the header. For larger breakpoints we show the basic navigation. For smaller breakpoints we hide it and use a custom icon instead to open our mobile menu. When resizing the browser we should see the following result. Let's start to create our mobile menu. First of all we create a new section. Then we define different settings. The most important for this example is to set the position to absolute. We can set a background color, white in this case. And other settings you can make according to your needs. Ok, now we have a clean canvas to design our mobile menu. Let's create the animation and the events for this menu. Um, first of all, I need to set the display to none because um, um, by default we don't want to show this menu. And we also can set some default states for our animation. Um, for my example, I set opacity to zero. Okay, we can open the Bricks Forge panel. Let's create um, an animation. We create a new timeline. Set the trigger to custom because we uh, want to open it later with an event. And we create an animation. The selector is the trigger. And let's animate this section to display flex. And we want to set the opacity to 1 again. Let's check this. Okay, great. We also could play with the duration. Or define an ease value for this animation. For this example we stay with the default value. Ok, let's try to create an event to open our menu uh, on click. So I create a new instance, choose the click event and as trigger selector we choose the custom icon we created. Ok. We create a new action, in this case a GSAP animation and I want to play an animation and I want to play the timeline mobile enough. That's uh, we created before. Let's try to open the menu. Ok, let's create a new event to close our menu. And we want to use this custom icon for this. We create a new instance that will also be a click event and as trigger we choose the icon. We create a new GSAP action and now we want to select the reverse as animation action. Save. Let's check this. Yeah, looks good. But we can do even more. We animated the menu by using a simple fade effect. Let's try out some slide effect now. For this we set a new default value for our section. 
in this case uh, transform x yeah this should be fine as value and now in the animation settings i create a new key x and i want to reset it to zero yeah and now the section slides in and for this effect we see a much better difference using ease values Let's try out in the browser. Yes. But we can do even more. Because we are using a timeline, we can also run complex animations. For example, we could animate elements inside this menu after the menu appears. Yes, this looks good. Let's check it in the browser. Yes, this is how it should look like. Yeah, that was a very simple example. There is much more possible. Thanks very much for using Brixforge.